Considering the fact that we're living in a world filled with information to the brim, we live in a world where we can talk to other people on the other side of the world within seconds. We can contact these people, we can send them photos, we can send them videos, we can directly talk to these people thousands and tens of thousands of kilometers away. We are living in an era where everything is connected, where everyone is connected to something, where everything is connected to something else out there, which is connected to another thing and another thing and another thing. And so the information flow is constant, is consistent throughout our days, throughout our lives. In like a minute or two, there are like thousands and thousands of videos uploaded onto YouTube. The internet is everywhere, information is everywhere. And so I understand why it is so easy for us to lose ourselves in the blur of distractions of all these worries created by this constant flow of information. You see, having information is great, you know, knowing things about the world is amazing. And yet when you know too much, when you are constantly exposed to so much information that your brain cannot even process it properly, things just get blurry, man. You know, your brain just gets distracted from your life. Because there is just so much information that it has to process that it cannot just take in everything. And so most of the time we find ourselves putting less and less accent on the things that truly matter in our lives. And we're drifting away towards something that just has no meaning in our lives. That is irrelevant. Because of some random distractions that we find on the internet. Because the internet is filled with distractions, right? Maybe in itself the internet is a distraction. We find so many worries in the things that we see in the content that we consume. Even in our own minds. You know, like with our own thoughts, we just make up so many damn worries. And if we were to pair those things up with all the worries that we find in other places, our brain would just be filled with negative thoughts and things that we're scared of, things that we're afraid of. You know, this has happened to me too. I've had so many moments in my life where I've just felt like there was just too much stuff in my head. There were too many things in my head just going around, just floating around, making everything so chaotic. There were plenty of times when I had to take a break from like social media before I actually started self-improvement just to be able to breathe, just to be able to exist in the moment for a few times, for a few days. Before, of course, my social media addiction would just get me right back into it. Would get me right back into the chaos. And I would start off from where I left off and then I would just go through the same damn cycle over and over again. And this has probably happened to you too. You just don't feel like you're keeping up with what is going on in your life and what is going on in the world out there. And most of the time we choose to be more preoccupied with what is going on in the world out there compared to what is going on in our lives. Compared to our own physical and mental health and the well-being of our relationships with ourselves and with the people around us. And instead we choose to be distracted and left astray by some other things that are completely beyond our control. Things that just don't really matter all that much to us but you know our brain just gets like a bit of a dopamine boost from it. And of course what is easier you know to think about something that you cannot really change that you cannot really make a big impact on to live a life where you don't really have that much responsibility or live a life where you have to take responsibility for everything that you do because everything that you do is your own fault and everything that you do has its own consequences which will be directed onto you and to other people that you love. So you need to keep your head, man. You know, you need to take a step back from all of this constant information flow and just sit for a moment in silence and think. Just simply exist in the moment. Bring your mind back to where your feet lie. Life isn't lived with your head filled of irrelevant, meaningless, stressful, and scary thoughts. Life isn't lived with your head just going crazy like that, not even being able to like pick a certain thing to focus on, being all over the damn place with like this chaotic feeling. Life is not lived like that. You need to bring your focus back to the things that truly matter to you. I believe that we all fall out sometimes. We all tend to just give in to some sort of distractions, whatever it might be. And we need to bring our focus back to the things that matter to us so that we can keep moving forward or else we're actually just going to go back. All of the progress that we have made up until this point, if we don't keep it moving, we're just going to regress. And that is not something that I wish for you, man. You need to remember the things that truly make you feel alive. You need to remember the people in your life that you truly care about. You need to remember the work and the things that you want to do which truly make you feel happy. Which truly make you feel a sense of meaning of purpose in your life. And forget about everything else. Forget about any other kind of thing which does not serve that purpose for you. Being in a constant state of high arousal will leave you exhausted, will leave you burnt out mentally, maybe even physically. Again, I've felt this so many times and you probably have as well. When there's just too much to think about, when there's just too much to split your focus on, you just feel so damn tired. You just feel like nothing makes sense anymore. You just feel like the world around you is going crazy. 
You're lost. You don't know where you should be. You don't know what you should be doing. The chaos is taking over your life and that is something that will ruin you. We all know people that live chaotic lives. We all know people that don't have any sense of order but chaos. And we know how those people end up. So I am here to tell you that we should all take a step back from this entire mess. We should all take a step back from everything that is going on around us. And just truly sit for a few moments and think. Just spend some time with your own thoughts. Away from this entire constant clutter of information. Remember what is meaningful to you. The people that matter to you. So yeah man, I really hope that you have gained some value from this video. You know, if you would like to subscribe to my self-improvement YouTube channel where I've been making self-improvement videos for like a year now, then you can certainly do that. You can like this video, you can share this video with other people who you think will also be able to gain some value from this. If you want to join my self-improvement Discord server, there will be a link to that in the description. And if you want to go on a free self-improvement one-to-one coaching call where we can talk about anything self-improvement related for free, then all you have to do is you have to click the calendar link in the description of this video so yeah man you know bring your focus back to the things that truly matter to you and take a step back from this entire mess that we call our lives you know just sit for a moment and think about what you want to do who you want to be and the people that you want to have around you while doing that good luck man i'll see you next time